Well, I just finished cutting out my gaskets here. I got eight gaskets for my seven plate design for my dry cell that I'm building. And I got this from Loads. Pretty cheap. But I wanted to show you here is my plate design. I got, I think it's five by six. And this, this is that little cut right here. I got five five plates of these and two negative. I mean one negative and one positive. Let me show you how it goes together. I know I still gotta drill the holes on these plates, top and bottom. This is how my setup is going to look. I just got to, this one of these will be my negative and positive and five neutral plates in between. I just got to get a carbon bit, drill bit tip, drill the holes here. I had the pesky glass one inch, so I'm going to try to cut that one inch pesky glass clear, pesky glass. Yeah. I'll show you the progress. This uh, acrylic um, Pepsi glass, eight by eight by one inch thick. You can see I only have four bolts there, quarter inch, all the way across, because this Pepsi glass won't won't flex. It's so thick it won't flex. It's one inch thick. Hoping that'll work for me. This is gonna be for my seven plate design. There you go. My dry cell is completed. Seven plates. The bar fittings, eight by eight. And the plates are six by six or five and a half by six. There you go. Well, guys, I just finished my dry cell. Well, not completely, in part. Probably 90% finished. This is my bubbler, but I'm using as a a reserve. There's my dry cell, which is working pretty good, and it's running at 13.92 volts. Currently amps 13 amps, and now I'm gonna put it to the test with my one liter bottle here. I just gotta connect the here. Hit the button. There it goes. runs right inside is already halfway 34 seconds 14 volts is fluctuating and that's my dry cell right there guys Delvis 11 told me to use seven plates six by six well, I got five and a half by six, and it's working working pretty good on 13 amps. There goes the one minute. I got the bubbles, 103. And you can say a liter a minute. 